This is day 13 of the PCT. Got no day 12 video because my battery died and I was too lazy to get it out of my bag and change it. So, yesterday, like a nine mile sprint into the Paradise Valley Cafe for a giant delicious burger and a chocolate milkshake. Hung out there for a couple hours just chatting with everybody and eating. And then left and did like just a little bit less than seven more miles up into the San Jacinto Mountain. I think I pronounced that right. Probably not. So that was, uh, uh, I don't know, maybe a 1500 foot climb. Uh, camped on the hillside. And then did another, I don't know, 800 feet up or something to 7,100 feet. So I'm coming down from 7,100. I think, of course, we're headed that way. Uh, I think San Jacinto Peak is like 10,000 something, or maybe a little 11,000. But the PCT doesn't hit the peak. Again, we haven't hit any peaks on this trail, but there is a side trail, so I think I'm going to blue blaze. It's about the same mileage either way, so I don't feel like I'm skipping too much, and I don't feel like, ouch, <laughs> I just cracked you right in the head. Uh, not quite the purest that I was on the AT on this trail. Especially when there's better things to see that this, the trail doesn't take too long. So, I'm trying to do actually a 20 mile day today. Uh, but a 22 mile day because I had to do a mile off trail to get water. There's just no water on this section of this trail. Uh, a mile down the water, a mile back. So today shouldn't end up being 22 and change. So that'll be my first 20 on this trip. But again, if you're one of my AT friends watching this, you'll laugh at the, like, trail. It's, I mean, it does have its rocky parts, but for the most part, goodness gracious, it's an easy trail. And it's getting a little steep now that we're in the mountains on some sections, but not very many of them. But this is a long downhill section, like I said, we just climbed up to 7100, I think we're going back down to like 58. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm not very good at looking at the guidebook, and I'm even less good at remembering what it says. <laughs> it doesn't matter, it all has to get hiked. Oh, that's pretty. with Andrew, Tuffy, and Caitlin still. Um, and then we've also had Bowie, who's the second time PCT hiker. And Kim, who's been hiking around. They're both very fun guys. Uh, they're putting in like 24 or something today, so they'll pass us up. But, if we can get the 20 in today, that leaves three miles to get to the saddle for a three mile trek down the Devil's Slide into Idlewild. I'm really hoping I can get all my chores done before the, I can check into the hotel. And then, I can take like, a proper sit on my butt, feet up, zero, in my shores, 
excuse I can't figure out why I can't upload anything to the blog. Work on the blog. I'm a bit behind on that. Perpetual behind. Signal has been real hard to find on this trail. A lot of it's being on T-Mobile. Verizon people definitely seem to be no happier. Which I should have known. Seems to always be the case on trail. I'm being more... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> it's going to say solidaritist. I don't know if that's a real word. With nature. Whatever. <laughs> Let's see if I can get Andrew walking over here. Oh, it is pretty here. I was thinking, I was thinking, oh, it's good to be back in the mountains. And my next thought was, this little hill that we're doing is higher than anything on the Appalachian Trail, <laughs> by about 500 feet. So, we're getting to some real mountains. I've only ever been above 10,000 feet once, and that was somewhere between, I think, Zion and Bryce Canyon. I mean, as far as a little bit of hiking goes. So, I don't know, so far I seem to be doing okay off the two lines. Might be a bit premature for that statement, but we'll see. definitely tell this area burn. I'm not sure how long ago. Lots of dead fall, lots of dead trees.
think I might be buying a new tent soon. So it just doesn't stay in place any longer. I'm probably pushing it way past its useful life. This is the same pack I did on the HCM and Camino. So it's got 3,000 miles on it. I did pass the 150 mile mark yesterday, I think. Today we're planning on staying at the 169 mile mark. So, I don't know, I like to look back and see where I was two weeks in on the AT. I'm pretty sure <laughs> it wasn't that far, which is just a lot easier on the body. And my pack is a lot lighter. I learned a lot on that trail. <laughs> interesting to say so I think you've seen the area pretty well I'll catch you later still day 13 this has been the hardest day on trail yet by far we've come all down this ridge here I don't even know a lot of elevation changes up and down 
a lot of really sketchy trail, including snow. And this is the one day that we're trying to do <laughs> the most miles. So it's hardest, hardest elevation, most elevation in one day, and most miles in one day. But the draw of town is strong. I'm just gonna let this roll for a bit. Oh. <sighs> Going up to eight thousand feet. A wild Andrew appears. Crushing a bar for some extra calories. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so you gotta switch ropes. So you're good to come across whenever you're ready. So how, how do you think the horses do this section? <laughs> All right, it's not so bad, dude. Oh. Watch out for that hole. <laughs> 